Hello, my name is Gaia Di Carluzzo, and in this presentation, I'm going to talk about the numerical modeling of large deformations and soil water structure interaction with Anura 3D software. In particular, I will present the software and its program type in GID with the latest development. The main motivation behind the development of numerical tools for the modeling of large deformation and soil water structure interaction can be found in the interest to investigate several of the technical problems like impact and pile installation, dike, dams and landslide, flow slide erosion and liquefaction phenomena. The challenge is to simulate large deformations and so to overcome the main limitation of the classical finite element method due to the mesh distortion. As it is well established, it can simulate small deformation until the onset of the failure, but it shows limitation in the modeling of the post-failure stage involving large deformation. With this aim, this research focuses on the material point method. It is intermediate between particles-based methods and finite element methods. The continuum media is described by a set of Lagrangian material points that can move with the material and a computational mesh that remains fixed through the calculation and covers the whole domain. Looking at the computational cycle, at the beginning all the physical properties of the continuum are transferred from the material points to the mesh nodes. Then the governing equations are solved at the computational mesh, which deforms. Nodal solution is mapped back from the nodes to the material points in order to update their position. And finally, the nodal values are discarded and the computational mesh is reset to the initial configuration. In particular, I will focus on Anura 3D software, that is a research code based on MPN, developed to advance the state of the art of modeling large deformations and soil water structure interaction. The software became open source in 2021. The source files are programmed in a Fortran language and it is distributed under the GNU Lester General Public License. Be aware of all the updates related with the software, you can visit the website and also the YouTube channel and the Twitter account. The software is developed by the Anura 3D MPM Research Community. This community is an international collaboration among different universities and research groups while world. In particular, in the community, there is a core developer team that coordinates the development and the new releases. The code is open source, so everybody can contribute to the development of Anura 3D. As a developer that can implement new features or suggest improvements that can eventually be included in the code once contacted the core developer team, or as a user that can contribute by um, reporting new applications, new validations, by finding bugs, by suggesting developments of new features or improvement. Apart from the development of the open source code, the research community also organizes regular activities like weekly online meetings for the management of the community, including workshops and conferences. The joint coordination among the members is done within the framework of the research project and interest on common software functionality. The last release of the software was launched on April 2022, and this is an overview of the features currently implemented in Anura 3D. The ones indicated in bold have been validated and tested with a limited number of problems, while the others are under development. For example, 2D and 3D models can be created, different integration schemes and computational methods in addition to the standard MPM are implemented, the software allows the, to model multi-phase materials. One or two-phase materials can be used to simulate dry, saturated soil or partially saturated soil. Some material models for solid and fluids are available, together with the option to include a user-defined model. And also, other uh, features and different boundary and initial conditions are available. Let's see what you can find in the Anura 3D website. You can have more information about the organization of the community and the members. About the license, from the website you can download the software and also you can get some supplementary documentation included in the reference manuals. In particular, in the tutorial manual, 
you can find useful information about the available features, either tested or under development, and a list of limitations and warnings. In the manual are also included details about how to perform a calculation, how to compile the source files, and how to get the recommended software for the pre- and post-processing. Then the chapter from 3 to 11 are a collection of practical examples. Here are presented different features using different applications and also step-by-step -step instructions are provided. The simulation of some of the practical examples described in the tutorial manual are also explained in video tutorials that are available in the website as well as in the YouTube channel. And they include uh, a guide to learn how to download and compile the code and how to perform a calculation. The Anura 3D download includes the source codes that need to be compiled to get the Anura 3D executable and the dynamic libraries of the constitutive models available for solid and fluid. However, you can also use your own material model. In fact, Anura 3D uses the UMAT format for the external constitutive models, which are interfaced as dynamic link libraries. The compilation of the code required the installation of two further software that are the Visual Studio Community and the Intel Fortran compiler. In the Anura 3D pack, you will also find the GID problem type specific for Anura 3D that you need in the preprocessing phase to get the input data for the Anura 3D calculation. More in details, let's see how to perform a numerical simulation. You first need to create your input data in terms of geometry, materials, loading conditions, computational mesh in the GID preprocessor. Then the calculation phase is performed with Anura 3D. And finally, the results can be visualized in the post-processing phase with Paraview software and since the last release also with GID. Starting from the preprocessing, the Anura 3D problem type has to be included in the GID software. So first, you should copy the Anura 3D executable and the dynamic libraries of the constitutive models in the Anura 3D problem type folder. And then you have to copy this folder in the problem types folder of GID. GID is a user-friendly preprocessor. Once imported the Anura 3D problem type in GID, you will be able to visualize the interface. It consists in a drawdown menu where all the available features are listed. Among them, I would like to focus on the latest feature incorporated in the GID interface. For example, the possibility to assign two systems of load that can be activated and deactivated separately. Also, in the current release, the interface has been adapted to apply transient hydraulic boundary conditions. In particular, it is possible to define in GID the areas where the hydraulic head, seepage phase and defiltration conditions can be potentially applied. Since the keynote procedure for stresses initialization has been improved in the code, the interface has been modified to specify the initial soil surface. And for the same reason, the initial phreatic surface. The condition of initial phreatic surface can be assigned to lines included in the geometry, or it can be read from an external text file, where are specified the coordinates x and y associated with the phreatic surface location. In GID interface, you can now also specify how to plot the results if you want to visualize them in Paraview software or in GID. Once created your model, GID preprocessor generates the input files for Anura 3D. They are the text file with the GOM extension that describes the geometry of the problem, all the information regarding the dimension, the computational mesh, the material data sets, initial and boundary conditions, and the CPS file, in which are specified the calculation data in terms of number and duration of load steps, loading type, multipliers, and so on. By clicking on Generate Anura 3D files, these files are stored in the project directory. 
The calculation can be run from the project folder in which are included the material models libraries, including the DLL of your own material model, the executable, the GOM and the CPS text files. Anura 3D can be executed from the Windows command line or by running the calculate point bat file in the project folder. The visualization of the results at each load step can be done with the software Parview. And from the last release, it is possible to visualize the results with GID. The output can be generated in two formats, the ASCII format, in which are generated one file for the mesh and one for the results, and the binary format, in which for each step is generated an output file. This is the GID post-processing. As you can see in this figure, it is possible to select a specific load step whose results you want to visualize. However, notice that it is not possible to plot the results for a given step along a section. What happens is that when we plot the results with GID, we use points and not Gauss points, but GID would need Gauss points to do the interpolation of the variables. So if you draw a line along a model cutting several elements, GID will not give you any profile because there is no way to interpolate. However, it is possible if you draw a cutting line crossing several material points. Under this menu, then, you can select the variable desired. Here, I wanted to show you some examples of application and their results in GID. Column collapse, the simulation of a submerged slope, and the simulation of sliding blocks. And finally, a comparison with the Paraview outputs. Thank you for your attention.